time for my last ever game of 8th edition and it's Necrons versus Orcs. It's coming right up. Necrons! Nick speaking and welcome to this battle report and if you're new to the channel and you want to learn about Necrons and more then please subscribe and hit the bell button to turn on all notifications so you don't miss an upload. Okay so here we are I'm with Richard from Capitan Morgan's War Games. Hello Richard. Hello Nick. Welcome to the hobby room at social distancing uh, amount. Yeah. <laughs> So this is going to be fun. Because we're social distancing, I'm not going to show any of the dice rolls. I'm going to do an end of phase battle report. And Richard is here with his 8th edition tournament orc list. Which I probably won't get to buy now. However, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, there is a link to Richard's channel in the description below, so make sure you head on over and give him a sub. In the meantime, let's have a look at my Necron list. Okay, so this is my army today, and I am playing something totally different, and I've gone for the Nefrek Dynasty. I don't usually play them, and actually they do have some nice tricks. So, I've got a 2,000 point army, a battalion detachment first of all, headed up by this guy here. He is my overlord, and he's got the warlord trait, living guards. That's the Nefrek warlord trait, which gives him minus one to hit against him. We then have a Canoptic Cloak Cryptek, and he's got the Nefrek Artifact Solar Pulse. Troops wise we've got one squad of eight Immortals with Tesla, and two squads of five again with Tesla guns. We then have the Elite slot, and we've got the Nightbringer. We then have a squad of six Destroyers, and two squads of Heavy Destroyers. I've then got an Outrider Detachment, headed up by another cloak tech and I'm going to use dynastic heirlooms to give him the veil of darkness. We then have two squads of wraiths and another squad of destroyers. I'm going to use one command point to give them a translocation crypt to keep them in reserve. 2,000 points exactly, 9 CPs, minus 1 for dynastic heirlooms. The Nefric dynasty will let me auto advance 6 inches and I've selected my stratagems which I'm going to use mainly in this game. We've got repair subroutines to help reanimate the wraiths, extermination protocols to help boost the destroyers, adaptive subroutines to give those wraiths the ability to charge after they've advanced six inches and of course translocation crypt to put the destroyers in reserve. I'm going to be quite aggressive with this army pushing the Nightbringer forward and also the cloak tech here with his solar staff quite a nice shooting weapon actually. The destroyers of course are going to do what they do best and the wraiths are also going to be charging forward this cloak tech here is going to hold back. I'm going to Veil of Darkness him over to these guys here when they deep strike, just to give them the 4 plus RP. In the meantime, of course, this guy is going to try and give 4 plus RP to the destroyers and hopefully to the wraiths when they start reanimating. The two units of heavy destroyers are my only long ranged anti tank weapons. However, it was the best I could do with all of the units I wanted to take in the army. But either way, I'm sure that this is going to be fun. Okay, so that's my army. Now let's have a look at Richard's orcs. Okay, we're in my kitchen. Richard's got his three battalions spread out <laughs> over all of my worktops and the cooker. And I'm trying to keep two meters away from him so. Yeah, Richard, what have you got over there? I, I have a, a war boss with the killer claw and the uh, combi weapon with rocket launcher. Uh, I've got a weird boy. He knows uh, Gork's fist and the jump. And then I've got three lots of 30 boys with, and, and one of those is a knob. Uh, two of those have got uh, power claws and each one has got three tank buster bombs. And I've got a unit of 11 that, with an, 10 boys and the knob. No, no special weapon in that one. Then I, my second battalion, I've got, is my Dreadwar detachment. I've got two shock attack guns. Uh, one's a souped up the shock attack gun. I've got two units of 20 Gretchen, and one unit of 10 Gretchen, and a unit of 14 looters with a spanner in it, who's got the, the cleverest spanner. 
for war bosses got the dirt biggest war boss strap from the saga of a beast basically gives him a couple more wounds and an attack and gives him four plus in roll. Uh, going into my third detachment I've got Big Mac KFF with the uh, Grot Oiler. I've got second weird boy he knows the crunch uh, and I've got three units of ten Gretchen and then I've got two lots of four mech guns, smasher guns and they're accompanied by the big rock crew but once I deployed them they couldn't become separate units so it's Okay and you've recently got these models, these are made from MDF yeah? Yeah they're, they're, they're from uh, TT Combat TT Combat yeah uh, I've got to get another another set of four of it, so so I'll end up having eight of each kind. Right. So twenty-four <laughs> mech guns might be a bit overkill. TT combat for the win, that's for yeah. sure. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Right. Let's get on with this game. Okay. Here we go. So we are playing Scorched Earth from Chapter Approved 2019 and we've got Frontline Assault Deployment. I won the first roll off and chose to be the attacker. I have deployed, we've got the two units of Wraith right at the front there. Nightbringer on one side, Cloak Tech the other side. We've got some Heavy Destroyers, Destroyers and Heavy Destroyers just here and the Immortal Blob with the Overlord just here. They're standing on one of the objectives the other immortals are over here standing on to, on that objective there. We have one objective in the middle and one on the flank of the middle there. Which is deployed, well, in the whole of the deployment zone. His two objectives, one over there next to some Gretchen and one over here, right in the corner next to some Gretchen. <laughs> and then we've got the, all of the big uh, what are they called? Mech guns. Mech guns. Loads of mech guns just there. And then of course a whopping amount of orcs. And Richard is very keen to roll his dice to try and seize the initiative. He's praying to the dice gods. Here we go. Oh, no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh. oh dear. That might just... That could change this game totally. Are you happy, Richard? I am extremely happy. <laughs> okay. Well, do your worst then. Orcs, turn one. Okay, so end of movement and psychic phase for the Orcs. Using a character at the back there, Evil Sons. Uh, managing to advance, which gives him the ability to assault as well. And he, has, he advanced six inches on this big blob in the middle. All the other boys have also moved forward. Not too much other action except, as I knock over a Necron tomb, these little grots here have come over here with the jump, ready to assault my immortals. First of all though, we need to shoot. Okay, shooting over, basically the big guns over there killed both of my heavy destroyer units. Both are gone. I lost two immortals from this squad here and the looters and some of the other guns chipped away at my wraith. So I've got two wraiths left and one is on one wound, which it is just about to declare an assault. Okay, so Richard assaulted with his grots into my five immortals. There's me thinking I won't be bothered about not having overwatch. And in this overwatch, I killed seven of them, which was pretty good. And then uh, we went into the assault and I won the assault, which actually gave me first strike in Richard's turn. So that was pretty useful. Obviously, Richard already has first strike. Over here, these guys managed to get into the assault. Uh, they did no wounds on my wraith, so I saved everything. And then my wraiths attacked and I killed five of the orcs. So that is the end of turn one for the Orcs. Scoring for this mission starts at the beginning of turn two. So let's start with Necrons, turn one. Okay, first of all, RP, we've got two Immortals coming up on a five plus. We get one of those up. And then over here, we've got three Immortals left. So two Immortals, it will be a four plus because of the crypt tech there and we get none up, and then wraiths. 
I've got three dead, I've got a cryptic within range. I'm going to try to reanimate them, so two command points, and it will be on a four plus for the wraiths. We get one wraith up, I'm going to use another command point, and I'm going to re-roll this, come on. No. Okay, so one wraith is up. Okay, so Necron turn one starts off with my will be done on the big squad of immortals, and they've pushed forward slightly there. I've got the destroyers hiding behind this piece of terrain with the cryptic in range, and of course these immortals are also hiding behind that little, little structure there. Over here, these wraiths have fallen back, and these wraiths have advanced forward, along with the Nightbringer and also the Cloak Tech. I did Seismic Assault on this squad of Orcs, and I killed four. Okay, we are moving in to the shooting phase. Okay, end of the shooting phase. I basically concentrated all of my firepower on both of these Orc units, leaving this one surviving so that I can assault. Uh, managed to kill out this one, so that was good. No green tide happening. And now we're going to move into the assault. Okay, end of the assault phase, and Richard did interrupt for two CPs and take a uh, wound off of the Nightbringer, um, but of course I took out all of the Orcs. So, that is it, end of turn one for the Necrons, beginning of turn two for the Orcs, we now can start scoring points. So Richard has two points for the two objectives in his deployment zone. As we move in to turn two for the Orcs. Okay, so Orcs movement and psychic phase. This guy here has done the jump. He's the warlord. He's a war boss. Uh, so it's going to be interesting. He's targeting an assault on these guys where my warlord is. Over here, these two big guns moved, as did the grots onto the objective. And over here, a bit of shuffling forward for this big squad of boys. Okay, we're going to move in to the shooting phase. Okay, so shooting phase over. First of all, Richard targeted my destroyers with his big guns. Uh, I lost three, however, as I took them away, I made it difficult for Richard to continue shooting them, so he switched over to the wraiths, and he managed to take them out. Although it did take a lot of shooting, which it is now down just to one command point, as we move into the assault phase. Okay, end of the assault phase, this guy here is incredibly good. He throttled five immortals easily, and then he took four wounds off of my overlord. I did forget that he was minus one to hit, however, I did make Richard re-roll it because I was figuring he might have actually killed him the next time, because I did do two invulnerable saves to keep him alive. Anyway, that's what happens over there. Over this side of the table, the deceiver is just about standing, but he's down to one wound. And then I killed three orcs in return. So that's the end of Richard's turn two. It's now Necron's turn two. I'm going to score two points, one for this objective and one for this one. Okay, so movement phase for the Necrons. I fell back with my overlord just there and just jiggled these around, getting as many as I could next to the objective. Over here, these guys stood still and these are hiding behind the piece of terrain the best they can with the cryptic close by and the wraiths just there as the deceiver fell back heading towards this little blob. And then I did the veil of darkness on this cryptic over this side of the table and then brought in the destroyers. Okay, shooting phase. I took three wounds off of this guy with the immortals just there. I couldn't shoot anything else because this blob in the middle was the nearest target, so I just concentrated on this blob and I've got them down to six models, which are definitely going to foul morale. I think I will still assault them just to get my race near that objective in the middle. These guys shot into the Grots, who had an invulnerable save from a shield, but I did kill four of them. And then over here I used a Gaze of Death, killed the Spanner, uh, Looter with the Spanner, and was that all? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's there, and then over this side, these destroyers used the extermination protocols and shot basically these orcs here. There's a big squad of 30, and we're down to just six. So, 
assault phase next. Okay, so end of Necron turn two, I didn't assault with the Wraith, so just let the Orcs die for morale. And then I assaulted the Gretchen with the Deceiver, killed two Gretchen. I had no wounds taken back, bearing in mind he's down to one wound on the Nightbringer, not Deceiver, Nightbringer. Richard keeps calling him as Deceiver as well. Yeah, <laughs> okay, so we're going to move into turn three for the Orcs. Richard has his two objectives in his deployment zone, taking him up to five points. I'm currently on three as we move in to turn three for the Orcs. Okay, so Orcs movement and psychic phase. Well, these guys here have just done the jump, trying to definitely slay the Warlord. I did forget uh, that these two little grots here did score this objective, so Richard is actually on six points. These guys just moved over again, did they? Yeah, yeah moved over again. Over this side, these just, well, jiggled around, holding that objective at the back and just putting a little bit of a threat on me here. Now you'll notice the Nightbringer is gone. Richard had the crunch, one dice, and he rolled a six. Uh, killing my Nightbringer. I did explode and I killed two Grots in the explosion. Okay, shooting phase. Okay, end of shooting phase. These Grots shot into my Overlord, did no damage. However, my Wraiths took a pounding. I'm down to just one Wraith. I am within range of the objective though. And then over this side of the table, I lost three of my destroyers. One destroyer is down to two wounds. Those big guns and looters, a nice long range and lots of good damage as well. So, end of the shooting phase. Richard is going to attempt a very long charge onto my Wraith. And of course, these little grots are going to assault my Overlord. Okay, assault phase. These guys failed the assault. However, this guy didn't and he killed all of my Immortals, stealing the objective from me. And over here, these guys did a whopping 10 inch charge, got within range of my wraith, did one wound on my wraith, I killed nothing back, and have stolen that objective from me. So I just scored one point from here, it's not looking good for the Necrons, but we will continue, let's see what else we can do. Okay, reanimation time, this is very important, I've got to get a good amount of destroyers up to help me win this game because I plan on doing my best to win it. So here we go, we've got three destroyers needing a four plus because of the cryptic. Come on baby, we get one up. And then over this side, we've got three more destroyers. Cryptic is in range, come on. We get two up that time. And then we've got one immortal here and a five plus. No, he doesn't come up. My overlord gains one more point back. So he's now on four wounds. Okay, so movement phase, I've moved the destroyers there, hiding behind the building and eyeing up that backfield objective. Here, the Wraith fell back and the Cryptek just moved forward slightly, both within range of that objective. These destroyers have moved back, trying to get this guy to be the closest target. And I also have two pesky Grots on that objective to try and sort out as well. Okay, time to shoot. Okay, end of shooting. The destroyers did reasonably well. I shot one destroyer into those two grots, killing those. There was four of these boys left after I killed the rest of them with extermination protocols over here. And one destroyer shot into here, taking them down to one. So they're definitely going to foul morale now. And then I shot three destroyers into this big guy. I did a reasonable amount of wounds, but Richard saved his four plus in Von quite well. So I did kill the squig, and he's now down to three wounds, I'm debating whether to try and assault him with my overlord. If I'm attacking first and I get lucky, maybe, maybe not. However, uh, over this side, actually they didn't shoot into your orc boys, did they? I oh, know it was these. Sorry, these shot into the Orc boys and killed a bunch of them. These destroyers shot into the Gretchen, getting one unit down to three. I did split fire, killed a few from the other unit. Potentially I'm gonna assault over there. Okay, assault phase. Okay, end of turn three. I made 
well, maybe a rash decision, but it was fun. I did attempt to kill this warlord with my warlord. I mean, it's two warlords duking it out. Um, and I did pretty well, actually. I got him down to one wound. I did uh, lose some wounds from Overwatch, and I died in the assault. Now, if I'd stood there... I would have denied Richard that objective, which he is now going to ruse, giving him a three points. So, in reality, tactically, I should have just stood there and denied Richard the objective. However, it was fun, wasn't it's it? True. It was what, fun. That's what it's about, isn't it? Yeah. It's about, it's about warlord or warlord. Exactly. So, that happened over there. Um, here, this guy just died for morale. And over here I assaulted the two units, I killed one unit, and I'm locked in combat with the other one. And that was it. So we're going to move into Richard's turn four. Uh, Richard is going to get another two another. points, yeah, plus yeah. you're going to ruse we're that one, one yeah. so that gives you five. So yeah, we're looking at 11 points to four as we move into turn four. For the orcs. Okay, end of shooting and assault phase for Richard and well I actually got some glory because this guy he did a quite a big uh, move all the way up to here assaulted my immortals and I killed him in overwatch. Yay! So that was slay the warlord giving me a point back however I lost quite a number of destroyers, just one destroyer left. And then in the middle of the table, the weird boy assaulted the Wraith. The Wraith took one wound from Smite, and then he killed him in the assault, consolidating into the Cryptek, and the Cryptek did no damage on the weird boy. Over here, I lost all of my destroyers from shooting from that massive blob of long-ranged shooting guns that I can't do anything about. And that was the end of the turn. So we're going to move into Necron turn four. I get one point for standing on this objective. That takes me up to six. So it's 6.12 at the moment. So let's see what I can do. Okay, so first of all, the destroyer's not in range of the Cryptek, but I do come back on a five class, and we've got five destroyers. A really good roll would be nice. Come on. Yes. I'm liking that, Richard. Ouch, ouch, ouch. <laughs> oh, you love my destroyers, don't you? <laughs> I think it's probably fair considering I stole you in the <laughs> Okay, so those are back. There's no other rolls to make. Oh, there is. Let's get on. Come on, Immortal. Get back up. Yes, he's back up. Okay, movement phase. The destroyers have moved onto this objective here. I've got these grots, which are a pain in the bum. And these two things here. So, yeah, we'll see what I can do. Uh, over here, I've just jiggled around to get my guns in range. I fell back with the Cryptek over here and moved forward with the Cryptek over there. Okay, the sun is shining. It's very hot, and we are still continuing with this game. And not a bad turn, really. So, I managed to kill the majority of these Garots with these immortals. I had to put one more destroyer in to try to make them foul morale, which of course they have done. The other four destroyers shot into the looters and I killed three looters. Over here I used my solar staff and I took the weird boy down to one wound. He did lose a wound earlier from Perils of the Warp. I have assaulted him, I missed him and the weird boy was blinded and also missed me. And then over here, the cryptic missed uh, when he shot, but he did get into the assault and I killed one Gretchen and I took no wounds in return. So I did get a point back for standing on this objective. So I'm on seven points to 12 as we move into Orcs turn five, which is going to gain two more points for his two backfield objectives. And we'll see what he can do. Okay, end of turn five. My destroyers are dead, of course. Lots and lots of guns here. However, my weird boy, uh, sorry, not my weird boy, Richard weird boy, who I painted, <laughs> did die from the Cryptek in the assault. I lost one immortal from the looters who could just about see me. And then over here, I lost one wound from the pistols from the Gretchen, and no one died in the assault. So Richard got two more points there. 
It's now going to be my turn five. I get a point for this objective and a point for this objective. We've got one RP. So if they don't come back and we get some wounds back on our cryptex. Okay, so the game is over. We played on until turn six. My immortals just hiding, giving me some points for taking this objective. In the end, my cryptek did die to looters. Over here, the cryptek who fell back, shot his staff of light, and then Richard fouled his morale check. So they all died, and then I exploded the objective, giving me line breaker as well. So all in all, the end result is 15 points to the Orcs and 14 points to the Necron. So a very close game in the end, even though Richard had, I think, probably the upper hand towards the end of the game there. I clawed a few points back. Pretty happy with that, Rich, because everything pretty much that you've got left, I didn't really have anything to kill it, did I? No. Uh, uh, it, 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 and you hit, you, you, you hit well, so, I mean, I'm not... Just happy because it was a close game. It, it it won. I mean, first first two turns, it probably looked like you were going to lose quite badly. Yeah. But you managed to stick in there, pull those points back, and do well. Uh, okay. So well, that is it. Now Richard has played this list against another Necron army. His battle report is up on his channel. I'll link you up to that in the description below so yeah go and check it out and here are some of my other battle reports which you may like watching next beam me up